What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my Let's Play Survival series. This is episode 14 and the episode that we finally start to build the village that I planned out in my last video. So far we just have cobblestone to um, kind of show where the structures and buildings are going to go and the sand is supposed to outline, um, give a rough idea of where the roads are going to go. Um, I'm pretty excited to start doing this. Um, in this video, I think we we're just gonna do the walls. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to go gather a ton of logs. We're gonna build the walls up, and then I'm thinking maybe we'll, we'll do the towers here, and then maybe we'll do a house. I think, and I definitely want to start on the little residential section we have over here. Um, that is definitely where we're gonna start. So I'm thinking we can try and get the walls done, maybe the little gatehouses, and then try to do a house but before we do that I just really want to whip up a quick wheat farm here um, it's gonna um, be the exact same style as the potatoes that we have here so I got a bunch of leaves a bunch of seeds got my my hoe my bucket of water um, I'm just gonna do a little time-lapse um, just to ease into the video a little bit a um, little relaxing little time-lapse here and I'll catch you guys after the time-lapse Alright guys, the garden is done and it looks awesome. This is probably about five-ish stacks of seeds, so that's going to be a pretty good yield every time we go to harvest this. Definitely going to be able to get a bunch of emeralds now that we have this garden. I also went ahead and finished the pathway and now it leads all the way up to the main entrance of the village. It, it looks awesome. Um, I just used um, spruce slabs so you could walk all the way up without having to jump. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is try and gather a bunch of logs so that we can get this wall done. This is definitely going to be quite a project, the wall alone. We're going to need, I, I can't even guess, probably at least like six, seven, maybe eight stacks of logs to finish this. But I guess we will find out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gather a bunch of logs and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I went ahead and gathered a ton of logs. I was probably cutting trees down for about a half hour straight. Um, I also gathered some stone that we're going to need for the wall and some fence. So um, I'm going to show you guys the wall design that I want to go with. Um, so we're just going to start up by going up a three high total all the way around just as a base. Um, actually, no, make that four. And then from here, you're just going to want to uneven um, the finish on the top and then place a couple fence um, randomly, jump off, um, and... Um, skin, I'd say every other log to every two logs, and there we go, that's the wall, and then next you're going to want to grab some stone, I, ha I have cobblestone, stone, stone slabs, and cobbled stone stairs um, for the combination I want to do, and I'm just going to want to go and randomly place just some stone, like just kind of look like some rocks, just to add some detail and some texture, and then... Hold on, actually I don't like this here. We're gonna do actually go a little taller here. Something like this. Do something like that. Maybe put a stone like that. 
And actually, I think we're, uh, I also have cobblestone slabs. We're going to go ahead and put a slab there. I actually think I want to break that. Actually, I think that looks good. And then I also have some leaves, so place a couple of leaves in there in the combination. And there we go. That is going to be the wall that's going to wrap around the whole village. Now, this is going to take a long time, so I am going to just do a time lapse of either at least partial of the wall, if not the entire wall. I don't know if I have enough materials to do the whole wall. Um, we will see. I'm more than likely going to have to take a break halfway through to go and get more materials, but let's just see how it goes. So I'm going to do a time lapse, and I'll see you guys when the wall is done. Alright guys, the walls are done and they look incredible. It really, the village is really, really starting to take shape now. Even with just the walls, without any structures or anything. It's really starting to create a vision in my head now. But what we're going to do next is we're going to make a little gate um, for where the river is going to flow into the hole down there. And by the way, I did actually come up with an idea for what I want to do with this hole. Um, I don't want to spoil it yet because I don't exactly know how to put it into words yet. But once I better figure that out, I'll tell you guys, and then we'll work on it. That's probably going to be a pretty extensive project um, alone. But like I said, what we're going to do next is we're going to get down there and work on the gate. For this gate, now, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for this. Um, I'm generally just thinking maybe just a pretty basic archway um, might do the trick. I don't think we need anything too fancy here because that's going to be for the main entrance over there. That's going to be pretty fancy. Um, I'm wondering how just like a basic wood arch would be. Let, I'm going to whip one up, I guess. Um, see how it looks. Hold on. Is this? Did I make this even? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So there is a middle point, and it looks like it's going to be right here. Hmm. Maybe doing it in the stripped wood, kind of like how it worked out, um, kind of how I have it already. I wonder how this would look. Maybe let's just go up high enough to like this point and then start working our way over. Um, okay, so obviously I need some work, but I think the shape's cool. I think the shape is, is working. I just need to get up there with my scaffolding and clean it up a little bit. I think adding some spruce, um, I mean not spruce, some oak stairs in here might add some cool detail because um, the wood is going to be stripped like this. Um, I think this will look pretty neat. Oh, definitely going to need some slabs there actually too. I might need to go get more wood. I might not have enough. but Let's just see. Let's just make some slabs. Let's get back up here. Let's see. How does that look? I want to put a slab over there too. Hmm, I kind of like the shape. I'm wondering if maybe I should bring these down just to the tower, just to down a little. 
the height on the side here just down a little bit because it goes, you know, it's like really high up and then it kind of triangulates. I wonder if that's even a word, triangulate. Sounds like a word, but it's probably not. But um, just to like mess with the shape a little bit more. Let me get up here and fix this. Show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so that looks a lot better. So I literally I just moved the, the outer um, pillars down one block, and I think that really actually does a lot to the shape. Um, yeah, I think that looks really good. So, I'm wondering if we should make, like, doors opening. I wonder, I don't know if that would make any sense, though, since it's just a river flowing down. Maybe we'll just, um, we'll just leave that, we'll just leave that for now. Um, if you guys have any ideas, uh, drop it in the comments, um, because I'm a little stumped. I mean, I like how, I really do like how this looks, but I'm wondering if maybe there's something I could do to take it to the next level. Alright, and what we're going to do next is work on the towers for the wall and the village. So, I kind of have an idea what we, what I want in my head. The majority of the tower will be wood. Um, with a couple little stone accents to break up the colors a little bit. So I think we're going to do just uh, basic oak pillars on each corner. And then we're going to have like a little... Hold on, wait. I think this might be the wrong size. I'm wondering if I fill in the... If I make the walls as um, trap doors, I wonder how that would look. Actually, that would have to do that because um, these wouldn't overlap if they were within the same block. So something like that, and then we would have a door. I knew that was going to go like that, like this, to be flush. This could look interesting. Let's see. Um, not sure how tall I want this to be. Let's just experiment a little bit. Definitely has to be taller than these walls. I think we can go a little higher. So we can get a nice view. So I'm thinking actually probably like this height is probably perfect. I'm going to need a ton of trapdoors for this. This is going to be... I went ahead and gather, gathered almost a stack of spruce logs, but that is definitely not going to be enough, I feel like. Something like this with like a thing there. Um, I need a crafting table. 32 trap doors. Let's see what 32 can get, where 32 can get me. Let's see if I can finish the walls. Um, how am I going to do that one? Like that. Maybe, oh, I can't do, um, I can't do uh, trim then if I do it like this. Alright, I've been messing around with the tower a little bit and I came up with a design that will actually work. So I moved the trapdoors in for just the front and the back wall, and then I used spruce um, planks for the side. Um, I think that'll look all right. Um, if anything, I could just do a little something down here maybe with, um, just to add a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Just add a little bit more detail in the, in the wall since it's flat. Um, I'm not sure if it matters on this side because you can't see it, so we won't do that. But yeah, I like the way this is um, looking. Um, I think here is also, well, actually this is going to be, there's going to be like a little bridge here, so I'm going to leave, there's going to be a door there, and the way you get up here is going to be with a ladder, so we're going to have a ladder on this side, and then I'll move the torch over there, and then there'll be a floor right here, oops, I'm going to make the ladder go up a little higher, this will be all flat wall, so I think I'm going to do something like that. And then there'll be a door here. And then we're going to continue the trap doors here. I don't think I'm going to do windows here. Just going to um, fill this in with trap doors. How does that look? That looks a little goofy. Probably might as well just do the whole wall. But I'm out of trap doors, so I'm going to have to go get some more. In a moment, I made some more trap doors, and I'm also starting to work on the little bridge or whatever. Um, it kind of sucks that this is a little low, but because I wish I could have more of an arch. 
I'm almost wondering... Or does that look kind of good? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm just wondering if a, more of an arch would be more appropriate. I was actually able to make more of an arch with the trap doors here. And, I mean, not trap doors, slabs. And I think that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to move this. This is kind of getting in the way now. Alright, so I just got to do that same thing on this side. All I did was a block, slab, slab, and then mirror it onto the other side. There we go. Um, I wonder if doing it in the middle would um, be good, too. Let's just see how it looks. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It's a little low, but I think it I think it works. I, I don't think it's a pro too much of an issue. Alright, so let's get this tower these these walls on this tower done. Um need to figure out how I want to decorate um the banister here for each side here. Alright, I added some oak signs above the windows. I think that actually looks kinda cool. I think that adds you know a little bit um more detail and um, it's different color from the rest of the tower by a lot so I think that really actually like helps um, for so for the very top here this is gonna be all open and I think I want to go four high with it and then we're just gonna put a roof on top um, I think I want to do maybe something like this all the way around I forgot so like we can all we can actually only do that on the sides because of the roof design that I want to do um, I have to get up a little higher. Ugh, I hate scaffolding. It is so weird. So the roof isn't going to be too complicated like um, like I did with that roof and um, the greenhouse over there. This roof is just pretty much going to be a basic triangle roof. Um, but I do want the outer ring to be spruce and then the inner ring to be, I think, cobblestone. I haven't used cobblestone for a roof yet and I think it'll match the wall really nicely. So we're going to do this and see how it looks. All right, so this is what I've come up with. Um, I, th I think I like it. Um, it's pretty, it's like not too overly detailed and it's not like too simple at, at the same time. I think that looks really good. Um, um, I'm almost wondering if like I should somehow add some of this into the build because I have pretty much everything on the wall involved in this except for the stripped wood. But Alright, so I stripped the little nubs, and I think that actually looks, that looks alright. That doesn't look as bad as I thought. Um, it almost kind of works. I think we're just going to leave it like that for a while and see what we think, see if um, maybe it changed my mind over time. But, alright, I think the next thing that we're going to do is just build up the second tower. It's going to be the exact same thing, and then we'll go over the little archway um, and see what we can come up for that. Alright, guys. Oh, no! Uh... I just realized this tower is one too short. You're kidding me. I have to redo the whole roof now. That is just unbelievable. I am... I am so upset. Alright guys, both of the towers are done. I fixed the roof. That was a really, really, really unfortunate uh, mess up that I had there. Now I just want to make a little, little roof slash balcony for the little overhang here and then we're gonna wrap this video up so I'm not too sure what I want to do here I think I might leave it exposed actually I have an idea but I'm gonna need some more wood there we go that looks really good um, I literally just used two upside down stairs with a log and then a trap door on top above the log and then two lanterns of course so I think that is going to wrap up the video. Um, I'm really, really, really pleased with how this turned out and how much progress we got. Um, let's see how it looks from the, the mountain over here. This looks freaking sick, guys. The wall looks amazing. The little arch and the two little um, side towers there around the main gate. Um, I think um, I might add a little gate with some fence there, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to do a little bit of um, research to see if... Um, if there's anything I want to tweak on that, see if I can get any more ideas. Um, Google's always the best source for ideas. Uh, I get a fair amount of my ideas when I'm stumped on something from Google. Um, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm so pleased with how all this turned out. Again, um, 
in the next video i think we're going to start working on some houses in the residential area um, i'm super pumped for that i'm super pumped with the progress that we've got going on here but that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys have a good day and i'll catch you in the next video